Hi, Casey. Hey, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. I'm Dr. Matt. I'm going to do your examination today. Okay. Can you verify your date of birth and your last name? Last name is Smith. Date of birth is March 12, 1999. Okay. And what's going on with you today? I've been having some back pain right along my spine. Mm -hmm. It's on and off, and I'm not really sure what I did to cause it. Okay. Some back pain. Is it upper, lower? It's more towards upper. Okay. And how would you describe the pain? Is it sharp? Is it shooting? It's like a shooting pain. Is it radiating towards the shoulders? Yes. Okay. And on a scale of zero to 10, how would you rate that pain? A seven. Okay. Is it constant or it comes and goes? It comes and goes. And how long ago did it start? About a month ago. A month ago. Do you remember doing anything that may have caused it? No, nothing in particular. Okay. How much coffee are you drinking per day? Uh, about one cup of coffee. Are you taking any medicine? No. Do you have any allergies? No. Any surgeries? I have not. Any hospitalizations? No. Okay, have you noticed any other symptoms? Any facial pain? Yes. Um, my left side of my face tingles. Like right along my jawline. Okay. On the left side? Yes. Any denter uh, pain or problems? No, not that I'm aware of. Okay, when was your last checkup? I believe March of this year. Okay, so it's been about months. Okay. Any vision changes? No. Do you wear contacts? Mm -hmm. Okay. Any smell or taste? Nothing different. Okay. Any abdominal pain? No. Have you noticed any shakiness or? No, nothing in particular. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take your vital signs and we're gonna check your cranial nerves today. Okay. It might be a neurological problem, but um, definitely could also be just something muscular. And if it is neurological, then in this exam, we're gonna definitely find out, okay? okay. Have you noticed any flu-like symptoms in the last 48 hours? Not that I've noticed. Okay. Let's go ahead and take your temperature. This is going to go in your ear, okay? okay. on your index finger. This will go on your arm, take your blood pressure. Any headaches? I feel like here and there, but it's usually when the pain occurs. Okay, and do they go away with Tylenol or Ibuprofen? Yes.
Okay, blood pressure is normal. 125 over 60. Heart rate is 95, oxygenation is 99%. Heart rate is a little bit elevated, but it definitely can be caused by increased pain. Mm -hmm. Blood pressure was normal, which is a good sign of heart um, function. Temperature, okay. so no flu-like symptoms. rate is 18 non-labored okay I'm going to go ahead and check your reflexes so I'm going to have you relax your jaw okay good and just going to check your shoulders as well Relax. Okay, fully relax. Good. Okay, diminished on the right side. Okay, I'm going to check your facial sensation. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have you close your eyes and tell me if you feel this equally on both sides, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, and on which side you felt it more? I felt it more on my right side. Go ahead and close your eyes. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right, I'm going to touch you with two textures. One is going to feel dull. This is what dull is going to feel like. Okay. And the other one is going to feel sharp. This is what sharp is going to feel. Go ahead and tell me if you feel sharp or dull. Dull. Sharp. This feels cold or warm. Cold. Cold. Warm. 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 Cold. Cold. Warm. Okay. So this is gonna feel sharp. And this is going to be dull, and this is going to be soft. Go ahead and tell me which one of these three is. Dull. 
Don't. 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 Soft. Sharp. Don't. Don't. Sharp. Don't. Don't. Okay. Just going to go ahead and palpate your face. See if there's any swelling. Go ahead and open your eyes. I'm going to check your vision, make sure that there is no um, inflammation behind the retina. Can you please go ahead and look straight at my nose? I'm going to flash a light in your eyes. Okay, people are running reactive to light, which is normal. Okay. Go ahead and look at the light. And I'm gonna need you to focus on the light without moving your head. changes okay go ahead and look at the pen I'm going to bring it very close to your field of vision okay perfect sorry about that all right I'm gonna have you look behind me straight at the wall okay and I'm going to come very close and look behind the retina here Nervous. Intact. Not seeing any signs of inflammation. Okay, increased pressure on the left side. Cover your right eye. I'll have you grasp the snow and chart with the left. Just grasp it. Okay, perfect. And extend your arm all the way. Okay, good. And I'm gonna have you tell me what color you see here. Red. Right, and here. Green. 
Okay. What number do you see here? Nine. All right. Can you go ahead and read the last row starting with the first letter to the left? L T F P H. Okay. And go ahead and switch eyes. All right. Go ahead and read the last row starting with the first letter to the right. H P F T L. Okay. What number do you see here? Six. And what color is this? Red. Which circle is bigger? Two or three? Three. Okay. Very good. Okay. I'm going to check your hearing as well. Okay. Go ahead and close your eyes. Can you tell me with which ear you hear the sound? Left, right. Okay, tell me with which ear you hear the sound. Both, right, both. Okay. Go ahead and tell me when you don't hear the sound anymore. Done. Okay, go ahead and tell me which sound is louder, position number one or two. Two. One or two. One. One or two. Two. I would turn your head this way. Take a look inside your ear. Body membrane is broke, right? No fluid built up. Good. No signs of cerebrospinal fluid. do now is I'll have you lay down and I'll take a look at your back, your neck, and shoulders. So, okay, okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and lift your shirt a little bit higher. Take a look at your spine. Normal curvature, lumbar and sacral. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead, you're gonna feel like a pulling sensation. Mm -hmm. So this will increase circulation in this area, and if there is a pulled muscle, it's just gonna to help to relieve some of that tension. I'm going to put the pants a little bit lower. Gonna feel like a pulling sensation.
normal thoracic curvature. Vertebrae are stacked on top of each other. There's no swelling around it. So that's good. Now I'm gonna definitely have to take a look at the cervical spine. sensitivity. Okay, I'm going to check to see how your body perceives the painful stimulus and the dullness sensation. So I'm going to touch you with a sharp or a dull object. This is what dull is going to feel like and this is what sharp is going to feel. Okay, so I'm going to have you tell me if it's sharp or dull. Dull. Sharp. Da. 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 Sharp. Da. Sharp. Sharp. This feels cold or warm. Cold. 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 I feel sharp or dull? Sharp. 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 And must that feel equally on three sides? Or did you feel it more on one? I felt it more on my um, right side. Okay. What does that feel like? Dull. Does that feel sharp or dull? Dull. Does that feel dull? Dull. Does this feel cold or warm? Cold. Warm. Cold. Does this feel cold or warm? Cold. Warm. Cold. Warm. Okay. Go ahead 
out and tell me how many taps you feel, okay? Two. One. Two. Three. Okay. Does this feel sharp? Yes. And does this feel sharp? Yes. And now? Yes. What about now? No. Do. 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 Sharp or dull? Sharp. Dull. Sharp. Sharp. Dull. Dull. Sharp. 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 Dull. Dull. Sharp. Cold or warm? Cold. Warm. Warm. Cold. Warm. Warm. Cold. Was that sharp or dull? That was sharp. 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 Dull. Feeling your cervical spine, starting with Atlas. And Axis. No signs of abnormal curvature, but I am feeling a little bit of swelling at the base of the skull. 
can go ahead and perform some pressure therapy. It's going to help to alleviate some of that pressure. And inflammation. I'm going to focus on the base of the skull. So let's go ahead and apply some anti-inflammatory gel. going to apply a little bit at the base of the skull and we're going to apply some pressure cells to drain the lymphatic system and any toxins that are accumulating in the tissue. Perform some hair pulling, it helps to elevate inflammation and release some of that fluid built up.
check the pH of your scalp, some of the acidity that could be, you know, activating the pain can come to the surface. So we just want to make sure that we're checking that to see if we need to target the scalp with a different type of anti-inflammatory treatment. Good. I'm gonna have you sit back up and we're gonna discuss the results, okay? Okay, okay Casey. I did do a back exam and we performed an anti-inflammatory treatment for your scalp and your neck. It's going to help to alleviate some of the pain, but we do want to do an x-ray. So the x-ray is going to help to determine the space exactly in between the vertebrae so i want to make sure that there is enough cushion in between them if there isn't then we can go ahead and investigate further but that's the next step that i think we should take okay Absolutely. do you have any questions for me none at this time okay all right you're going to see some improvement with the anti-inflammatory treatment that we did it's going to help um, but this is just uh, temporary, so if it is something that's going to come back, and I'm going to have to do another treatment. Absolutely. Okay? Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you soon then. Thank you.